Hi everybody, welcome back to more Xenoverse. This is episode seven. Uh, thanks for tuning in as always, appreciate y'all. Uh, don't be shy, show some love to that like button. Uh, it would be really appreciated. Uh, today, we've arrived in this really creepy area in the game where everybody's like mindless. I don't know, dude, I've not spoke to anybody yet, so. Uh, I suppose we're just gonna we're just gonna talk to people. I must bring food to the master. Yeah, I think I think that's all they're gonna say. Yeah, don't think there's much much new here. Um, so I, I have no idea what I'm actually meant to do. Uh, hello. Yep, must bring food to the master. Who who is who is this master? I I, I really want to know. Are you are you brainless too, sir? Of course you are. To be honest though, besides coming across some uh, brainless individuals, um, last episode was pretty productive. Uh, we got a lot done in terms of like, you know, leveling and shit. So I'm really, I'm really happy with where my team's at right now. Uh, I just, I, I just got to know what's going on with these people. And yeah, if you're following along with the series, use the playlist, man. Playlist at the top of the description always. Dude, does anybody say anything different here? What's this? Oasis of Ishtar City is renowned for uh, miraculous springs. Their water is traded all over the region with the name of fresh water. Okay. So this is where fresh water is born from. Okay. Come on, lady, wake up, please. Sir, at least say something. But why is no one answering? Come on, break this hypnosis. Uh, no way. I absolutely must run for help. Uh-huh. And who are you? I've never seen you around here before. What a treat. You're not under the spell. I'm begging for your help, trainer. Something must uh, must have happened while I was out of town taking care of some business. Seems that the Pokemon uh, that Pokemon has cast a spell over the whole of Oasis, uh, <laughs> Oasis of Ishtar City. Uh, and to make it even worse, the gym leader is stuck inside her own gym because of that. Please, you're the only person who can help our say and get rid of this plague. Uh, yeah, I'll help. Um, don't waste any time. There must be a way to solve this tragedy. Yep. Okay. I'll. Yep. Let's. Let's. It's probably an as an Axmon in it. It's probably one of those. Oh God. Okay. Um. Kylie, these two soldiers are guarding the perpetrator. Uh, perpetrator of all this rumpus. Uh, I've already tried facing them, but they're too strong. The Pokemon must be amplifying their powers. What the fuck is? Oh fuck! It's him. I it tried to use the psychic powers to force the citizens to hand over all the Oasis food and supplies. We must act. Okay. All right. It's it's this guy. Oh, someone is bringing me more food finally. Oh my god. The berries of this world are so delicious. I could eat them forever. Uh, this is actually a pretty fucking raw form for a Gengar. Hey, you two. Hand over the food to my slaves and then hurry up and get some more. That's an order. What? You two are not hypnotized by my power? How the hell is this possible? What are you doing? Uh, what are you? Why are you doing this to Ishtar City? What did we do to deserve all this? Don't you dare talk to me like that, you filthy human. You're lucky uh, to have a benevolent... S s s s so what the fuck? Sovereign? What word is this? A supreme ruler. Sovereign. Sovereign. Bro, I need to read more books. If these are your last prayers. I'll answer your questions before I hypnotize you. Uh, my royal limbs made a considerable effort to come this far, and I'm so hungry now. Hey, why aren't you eating your food then? It's just laying there. At first, I kept an eye on the city in the shade, and by studying you, I learned your language. You stupid humans, as usual, didn't notice anything. Um, but I have already said so much. Guards, bring them to me quickly. We must bring food to the master. Cali, get ready. Oh, fuck. Okay. Got to battle these guys. Sick. The Ishtar army. Croconaw and Marini. Okay. Baby moment. Uh, we can handle these. Leaf tornado hits both. No, it does not. I'm a giga drain the Croconaw. And then I suppose I should just switch into mustard. Oh my god, mustard is so big. What the? Dude, I literally can't even see what I'm facing. What the hell is Burig Burig What I don't I don't know what I'm facing. You're 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 just so, you're just far too large. I I'm it's some it's, it's some sort of fish. Some sort of fish. Birigiri, I think it's called. Can I can I see it? Oh okay, he's cool. It reminds me of like so I don't know actually. Like I'm actually not sure. I was gonna say dreadnought, but like not quite. Get fucked. Too strong for us, my master. You in <laughs> you inept fools. I'll do it myself. Wasn't expecting to see this guy so early. I'll have no mercy for you troublemakers. That's rich coming from you, mate. Uh, I think this is actually one that I can't catch. Um, I, I think I remember seeing someone say that you couldn't catch Gengar. Uh, the boss Pokemon Gengar wants the battle. I mean, I can try, but I doubt it'll work, you know? Um, not sure what type this is. I imagine it's like a fire ghost question mark. I'm not sure. I uh, don't think it's poison anymore, though. Oh, that's super effective. Okay, good to know. Dragon breath. Oh, it's a dragon now. Yeah, this thing's pretty fucking cool, dude. I actually really, really rate this thing. I would love to use it, but I don't think I can catch it, so. Uh, holy shit, it does so much damage. Oh, it sucker punches too, that's fine. I'll live that. Yeah, that's fine. Broke one of your shields, pog, pog, pog. Uh, hopefully it lets me use one more. Yep, let's go. Uh, I can try catching it from here. Wait, oh, it's got an extra life. Oh my God, it's got like three bars, holy shit. That's pretty cool, I like that. Just means unfortunately, oh, wait, no, my bestie's out here. Bestie is out here. 
doing the most. Thank you, Bestie. This Gengar is so fucking stupid. Let me let me get another one in. Let me get another one in. Let me get another one in. Cool. Can't believe I'm not dead yet. Uh, I'll try and throw a Xenoball at it, but I don't think it'll work. Yeah, you cannot catch this Pokemon. Yep, thought so. Unlucky, but you know, it is what it is. Cool ass Gengar though. Like it's actually such a cool Gengar. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fake it out. You get the fake out kill, bro. You you died a fake out. That's that's how much I don't care about you. Bye bye. Oh, plus trying to re retaliate. That's actually gonna be a tight move. Do I need double kick? Double kick technically goes up to like a base 90 move. I guess force palm is too, but I guess, yeah. Yeah, double kick's nice though, because it can break sturdies and stuff. It's like, do I want to break sturdy or do I want to paralyze? You know, it's, hmm. I think I'd rather break sturdy. Like, I don't think the paralysis is even that common. Yeah, let's get, let's get rid of force palm actually. Double, I, I, if double kick works the way I think it does, it'll be base 90, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, drop the two to tyrant. Um, that can't be. How is it possible? I, the greatest of kings, Gengar, losing to this nobody. <laughs> Gengar, Gengar. Kid, you may have won this battle, but the war is still on. We'll meet again very soon, and I'll have my revenge. Ah, okay, he's a reoccurring character. This pile of berries is coming with me, of course. Bye-bye. Cool. Nobody's under a trance anymore. Hey, what happened? Joel, is that you? What happened? And who is this foreigner? My oh, dear comrades. Her name is Callie. It was thanks to her uh, help that Ishtar City is now free from the biggest threat it has ever seen. Mysterious Pokemon used its psychic powers to bewitch all of you. It forced you to bring more and more food, but thanks to Callie, everything worked uh, out for the best. Oh, my jewel. Uh, I see we have visitors. Oh, hello. What is the move? Newpar? Newpar, is that how you say it? The queen of Ishtar City. And kid, who are you? Your Majesty. You are well then? I was so worried for you. Thanks for caring, Joel. So who's this youngster? Her name is Callie. We must thank her for making the city safe and sound. Callie, huh? That Gengar cut out every exit from my gym with a huge pile of fruit. Uh, good thing you were there, ready to take action. Callie, now your Pokemon deserve a little rest at the Pokemon Center. Will you, uh, we will continue the discussion later to the north of Ishkar Gate, City Gate. Uh, my soldiers, you can return to your duties, help our citizens recover from the shock. Okay, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your help. It's not much, but please accept this. This is what we do it, guys. We do it for the max revives. This is what we're here for. Okay, uh, so I, I go to the Pokemon Center now? Cool. Wait, who the fuck are you? Uh, I need a big fish net. I need to catch Beery Geary. Should find her north of, uh, ish okay, the north of the gate. Okay. I totally know where that is. What do you sell? The vastest assortment of herbal medicines. They make my Pokemon hate me though. I came here from the distant Equinox village just to enjoy the beauty of this oasis, but those fierce winds prevented me from going back to my homeland. Someone could stop them, uh, stop those. They would deserve a generous reward. Oh, that is hinting at something. Uh, oh my God, Titus. This, uh, got between my delicious leaves. I tried it, but it tasted terrible. Oh, actually a pretty good item. Hopefully it's not only single use in this game. So where do I go? I need to go north. Only the best incense here of the... Oh, fuck, you sell incenses? Cool, they're expensive as fuck. I feel so scrambled. I feel like I've been sleeping for days. Ah, what's this? Sunny day. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello. Ah, there you are, Callie. I wanted you to come here all the way from the soldiers to talk freely about today's events. I know for a fact that you're aware of the existence of the Xenoverse and the Gengars coming from there. Aster really hit the nail on the head when he hired a talented trainer like you. But I still need your help, Kali. You see, the X Pokemon have not only caused troubles in this city, famous for its miraculous springs, but also in Sunflare Canyon, a vital step in the water trade outside of this oasis. Apparently, in the last few days, a fury of an X specimen has uh, struck right on the canyon, blocking the way both visitors and locals, even I couldn't counter it. Uh, when it seemed on the brink of defeat, that creature uh, reborn to new life. That's why I'm asking you to asking for your help, Kali. Uh, the trade of this miracle water cannot stop. The welfare of this region is on the balance. Are you in? Of course, absolutely. Um, despite your courage, I fear this Pokemon is still too strong for your current level, but don't panic. Abraham, my grandfather and cardinal of the region will help you tap to your hidden potential um, if you will join him in Four Belt Town. He's also an old friend of your father's, besides being uh, one of the most skillful trainers in uh, Eldu, you know. My Gramps is a true hermit. The only way to get uh, into a conversation with him is to bribe him with some miracle water. Here, take it. Wow. That's a bit of a large container, you say? Well, Gramps is kind of um outsized. I think I told you everything you needed, Callie. The journey will uh, help you figure out the real operation on what you are wearing in your ear. Why do I have it on? Did I even watch that shit? The oldie has a uh, thorough knowledge of the Eldu region, and I'm sure he has answers for your questions. Okay. Ah, foolish of me. I didn't um, tell you to get to four belts. So uh, go back to Gravity Tunnel and head north. There you will find a huge boulder blocking your way. But don't beat yourself up. 
instead of uh, insert this Heruculum H inside your Pokebez and Hollow Hercules will move it for you. Finally, go meet my grandpa if you want to become stronger. The region needs you. Okay. I kind of want to talk about to people in the region in this area though. TM88, what's this? Why does it not tell me? Waterfall. Wow, that's actually really fucking good. Do I even have a water type in my team? I don't. All right, let's just get this over with, bro. Oh, hey, meow. Why are you still a meow? Why aren't you evolved yet? Lava plume. Oh, go on then. I suppose so. All right, only seven more to beat. Thanks for the rare candy. Very handy. What do you have for sale though? Oh, mystic water. Okay, not bad. Would be pretty good if I actually owned a water type. Green flash, red flash. I don't know what that means. Muscular update. Oh, that's for Conkelder. Cool. Oh, here's the Pokemon Center. I enjoy that they look different from each town. It's pretty cool. Hey, man. This is what we do it for. We do it for the super potions. I keep telling you guys, I literally play this game just to get super potions. Oh, mustard can get wild charge now. That's actually Pog. Let's go. This is why move relearners are important, man. Uh, I, to be honest, I don't need spark. I've been new that this guy can learn how to jump kick, but I'm like debating if it's worth it or not. Bingus can get future sight. Eh, it doesn't really get anything crazy. Future sight's nice though. You know what? I just remembered I have calm mind. This actually works really well. Uh, I'm gonna go flower, dude. All right, well, I guess I'll be on my way. All right, time to come back the way we came. I think I've discovered everything. Thing there's a discovery here for now yeah do we go oh we do we go up this way now you can't pass unless you run this up no no i guess we don't oh wait yeah we need we gotta use strength so there's like a boulder oh thank god we have strength now man i need to put my repels on uh, i gotta buy more repels god damn it hopefully i don't have to be in this cave for long oh yeah this is this the boulder i need to move oh no it's this one hey oh this is the mon that uses strength holy shit what the fuck am i looking at is that bug oh my lord okay it's like bug fighting right yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. We just go up this way, I guess. And uh, it takes us right to Route 12. Holy fuck. Okay. Already in this bitch. Hey. Bug collection. Punch bug. Oh, I think that must be. Yeah, that must be his pre-evolution. Yeah, that makes sense. They look so much alike in terms of shape, at least. All right. Uh, let's focus on Shufi for now, I think. Once it's level 37, I think I can feed it three rare candies and it evolves at 40. So that's kind of pog. Whoa. Mantle core. Okay. This thing's fucking cool. Holy shit. This is definitely a dark fairy. Absolutely a dark fairy. Oh, maybe not. It wasn't super effective. Dude, that thing's fucking... That thing's raw. I want that. I want it now. Dratini. Hey, Dratini. Bye-bye, Dratini. Dude, I hope it lives here. I hope that Pokemon lives here. Vile Plume. Shufi got this. I might give Shufi the Muscle Band, to be honest. I feel like it would it would work really well with the Muscle Band. The fuck? Another one of these ninja guys? Don't cause me. What the fuck? It's like a... Some sort of snake. Torkoal, you have ridiculously high defense. I'm going to switch out regardless, because you are you're just way too fat, bro. Yay! Dragon Claw, that's actually fucking crazy to have this early. Pokemon Den. Oh, go on then. Have a look, mate. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he turned back into the small baby. Okay. Is that maybe why they added fucking pre evolutions? Oh, okay. Do I just have to. Oh, do I just have to guess I'm going the right way? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, this is rough. Oh, fuck. Hello. Okay, Dragon Dance. Um, I guess I'm gonna just fuck around until I figure it out. Oh, he found. Okay. And then if I go left here, is this incorrect? It is not. Okay. What about down here? Oh, maybe I should have went further on. Oh, there's only one way to go. How about I crack the puzzle? I have. Drill update. What the fuck is a drill update? Get me out of here. Oh, right on. Okay, that was... No, I'm just doing it for the achievement, man. Oh, I'm out of repels. No bat lives here. Uh, hello. Oh my god, it's so dark up here. Hello. No, I don't want an Alolan Geodude. Thanks, though. Path of the volcano is still too hard for you, kid. That's what you think. Oh, wait. All right, okay. That's the volcano way. This is where I'm actually meant to go. To four belt town. Uh, focus ash. Okay. Dude, I actually don't know how items work in this game, but if they are reusable, then that is fire. Hello. Out of this cave, you'll find four belt town in the village of dragons oh dragons route 12 oh oh okay cool there's not that, that cave isn't super long that's fine yes we made it to four belt town it's really dark dude i hate doing this because whenever i adjust the time on my computer it like messes with like discord messages and stuff but fuck it dude i'm, I'm changing the time bro i'm it's far too dark in this place man when you encounter wild pokemon don't flee face it down instead uh besides the xp uh some of them could drop their health time in the ground yeah that's actually awesome. I, I noticed that like when I killed a gloom, it gave me a fucking a leaf stone. And I was like, yo, that's cool, man. All right, we're in four belt town. Spooky dragon town. What's this? Super repel? I'm about it, man. I'm about it. I know this may sound weird to you, but I'm um discerning uh, collector of cans. If you have any rare cans with you, I'd love to have a look. Oh, wait. The star cider special can? 
How did you get one? It's been no production for years. Are you really giving it to me? In that case, I'll reward your kindness with this souvenir. Oh, I, I didn't even get the choice. I mean, I guess it's the only place that you should go, right? Isle of Fire. Uh, honestly, I don't know what's so special about it. Hold on. Statue represent Pokemon for belt title. Looks like no utility. Hmm. I feel like that's Cap. We'll figure it out, won't we, boys? Pokemon Center? Okay, see, now that's obviously a Pokemon Center. Hello. Cardinal's Palace is the other side of the bridge with a soldier is guarding the entrance. Who lives here? I'm too old to venture into Eldu Mountains. Time to pass the torch. Take it. Oh, the the what update? Oh, is that for nose pass? Four belts people used to worship an idol of fire, believed to be incarnation of the volcano itself. I wonder which Pokemon it was. Oop. Ooh, so I have the uh, idol of fire. Uh, Mr. Starburst, so majestic from down. Mountain Star Starburst. Sorry, not Mr. Starburst. Uh, okay, hello. I think my mom really needs uh, to... A pet has come a panion. I'll uh, go to Route 13 and get our cuddly Lynn. Uh, kids these days have nothing but layabouts. Back in my time, they'd have faced some real time in the volcano. Uh, Daddy really is a sick rapper. I swear someday I'll go see him in Hype Leon City. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Hello, Clint. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those with loaded guns and those who dig. Uh, with this, you will be the one digging. Okay. I'm going to cook tasty rice uh, with... Oh, yeah. Pepe Quino. Pepe Quino seeds. For my pal, I hope you like spice. Dude, I hate spicy food, man. Well, I don't hate it. it I, I can handle it. I just don't enjoy the taste it gives me. Only if you Pokemon can learn technique passed on by my husband's family. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, is oh, hello, Eevee. <laughs> Sean's Eevee. I need to prove my worth at Mount Starburst. I want Eevee to become a mighty Scalion. Oh, well, there's, there's one of the evolutions. So that's how you get a dragon evolution. Okay, what's going on in here? Uh, dragon type Pokemon are the most fearsome, but they blindly follow um, Cardinal's orders. Uh, the Queen is promptly informing me, your rival trainer. Um, anyway, I'm sorry to say that Cardinal's on top of my Starburst at the moment. Extraordinary, the Queen granted me the honor to give the permission to reach him, but on one condition. You must first defeat me in a battle, only then you'll be allowed to reach the Cardinal. So yeah, sure, dude, I'll kick your ass. All right, what have you got for me, my man? Steelix. Okay, okay. This is the worst possible matchup for Shufi, but it's fine uh, because I will... Go into uh, Whiplash. Fuck it, dude. Uh, fake out. And then we're going to double kick probably like 20 times because Steelix has got such a ridiculous defense that... Although that fake out did a decent amount considering. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I see you. I see you. Not bad. I'm not the best soldier in Ishtar City's army. Or I am the best soldier, sorry. Queen was right about you. Um, as we accord, now you can go to the top of Mount Starburst and reach Cardinal Ab uh, Abraham... Good luck. Where? Where is Mount Starburst? Is that the volcano? I have no idea where I'm going. Truly. Fuck it. Pokemon Center. No way. No. Idol of Fire statue here either. Oh. Hello. Pokemon guy. Ah, I want more repels, man. Pepe Quino started chasing me and to defend myself, I threw a Firestone at it. I didn't know a continent's head. It would become a Scovile. Um, it's a miracle I'm still alive. Okay, so it evolves with a Firestone. Good to know. I really like that they tell you how to evolve Pokemon in these little areas like that. That's really useful, actually. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose I got to backtrack oh he's fucked off tradition says certain individuals are destined to challenge the volcano alongside certain pokemon luckily you bear one of those pog mount starbust first i like the name oh hey look who's here Callie. what are you doing in here of all places you're looking for cardinal abraham if i'm not mistaken he usually trains at the top of this mountain uh, what am i doing you say well the science calls the science uh scientist answers my starbust is crawling the strongest aggressive fire type pokemon however seems that turtony are anything but violent uh actually they uh, strive to help trainers who uh intend to cross the volcano see to reach the top it's necessary to cross over for uh, several lava pools. That's where Turtonator come in, hop on their shells and go beyond uh, the lava full areas to continue your climb. Oh, and for the record, once you set food in Starburst, there's no escape. Neither using escape rope nor other items, be careful. Okay, wow, that's that's an interesting choice. There's no escape, huh? Wow, look at that. I just left. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's actually kind of... Okay, let's... Uh, let's. Good thing we stocked up, man. Good thing we stocked up. Oh, uh, this is a great place to train my steel type. Man, I really need a, I really need something that can deal with... Uh, I actually don't have anything to deal with um, fucking... What are they called? Fucking fire types. Like, I, I don't really have anything. God fucking damn it, dude. Torkoal's so fucking fat. Um, how much is this gonna do? Dude, this thing has way too much defense, man. Why is he taking that so well? You know what? It might be time to just lead uh, lead Whiplash here. I guess Bengus could be good. Dude, I, I really don't have much answers for fire type. Okay, I'm going to go right. I don't know if that's right, but we're going right. Oh, hey, Tornator. Wow, he's so cute. Thanks, friend. Firestone. Wow, now I can evolve that fucking that guy. Quick, help me extinguish these flames. You know, I might actually run around in here, see if there's any new fire types that we can get, because a uh, fire type to replace 
The Magby could be interesting. Oh my god, what is this? Chub Chubble Bernie? Chubble Bernie? Okay, this thing looks goofy. I, I fuck with it. Oh my god, I almost all coded with a fucking fake out. Jesus. Bye bye. And this is where Double Kick comes in, dude. Fuck yes, sturdy. We don't care about yes, sturdy. And also, Double Kick has way more PP. So, like, you know, those rare paralysis that we get, not worth it. Oh, gym leader complete. I think I beat 100 trainers now. Awesome. Champion, 150. That's, that's really not that many trainers, man. Do people, like, skip trainers all the time or something to where, like, being 150 trainers is, a, is an achievement? Flame charge. Decent, decent. All right, well, let me get out this bitch. Oh, wow, okay. Fucking icy mountain. Found an ice stone. Brilliant. It's ironic, though, that these guys live on top of a fucking volcano. Like, this icy-ass place. Figured the volcano would, you know, stop stop the buildup of snow or whatever, but I guess not. Uh, cool. High tox croak. Uh, bye tox croak. Uh, you live, that's fair. Sucker punch. Fuck you, pussy. That's my move. Synchronize. Nah, thanks, man. I'm good. Is it just gonna update me anytime I battle a trainer now? Hey, man. Why are there multiple of you? Like, why do multiple of you guys exist? Why is this a trainer class? Sasquatch. Oh my god. Is that a fucking Sasquatch with skiing gear on? Bro, there is no fucking way, dude. What am I looking at right now? Slack off too? Okay, okay. Dude, I need to actually encounter some wild Pokemon so I can get some new guys. I'm like going feral, dude. I like need new Pokemon to live. Razor Claw, useful, useful. Uh, Let's see what we got here. Oh, you. We have you, Reindeer. I wonder what you evolve into. No, this guy just lives everywhere, dude. He's so powerful. Oh, nothing crazy out there. Anything crazy in here? Geo dude, holy shit, that's crazy. Hey, twin. I feel like this is like a Komala type beat where it doesn't evolve, but I could, I, I would love to be wrong, but this rock changes colors. Probably a special fire type Pokemon could melt the ice. Oh, it's ice? The Terminator doesn't want to let you jump on it. For now. Ah, understandable. Plot. Plot and stuff. You first must reach Cardinal Abraham. God damn it. Yes, I truly have to go this way then, boys, huh? All that was down here was Fire Blast. What the fuck? Is this where I'm meant to go? Special electric type Pokemon, of course. Special electric type Pokemon. Where am I meant to go then? Oh, I guess this way. Holy shit, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Okay, uh, okay. Not allowed on my bike in here, I guess. Um, we're gonna find the man, the man. The, the, oh, here, oh my god. Oh, there he is. Leave. I'm meditating. I told you leave. Me and my Skillion and I are in the midst of our training. You far, you said. You must be quite tough if you managed to make it here only to deliver me this water. I reckon it was hard. Let me give you and your Pokemon some. It will give you your strength back. I already healed, but thank you. Bless me. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Abraham. Among the four cardinals of Eldu, El El Eldu, Eldu region. I'm one who protects the ground you're walking on. Let us start burst the heartbeat of our region, and without the proper balance, it would risk destroying its own ecosystem. I'm here to ward, um, to ward off, and at the same time, I take opportunity to forge my spirit. Did you see that, my Scalion? Someone came to visit. Okay, okay. Uh, tell me, my young friend, do you want to listen to my old legends? You see, I know all of the inside and out. Whoever believes me, <laughs> believes I'm more than 500 years old, is not that far from the truth. Um, but if my guess, um, guess is served, that's not what you're here for, am I right? You know, you remind me of a person. Of course. You must be Versil's child. You are two of a kind. Your father was a great man and a real asset to our region. The terrible news is his disappearance was quite a shock for us all. Oh, forgive my rude demeanor. What did you say his name, your name was? Callie? I assume you must be seeking answers, don't you, kid? Well then, uh, I'll tell you everything I know about I know about it, but stay strong because the story doesn't end well. You should know that your father has always been fascinated with science and its progr um, progression. I think that's what that said. I skipped too fast. <laughs> uh, that's why he decided, along with his best friend Victor, to set up a laboratory in Hodorf City uh, with the purpose of making the biggest one in the region. Victor wasn't a skillful trailer, but to, uh, trainer, but to make up for it, he was a first class mind. In other words, he's a perfect partner for your father. Step by step, the lab uh, enriched with new co workers and became well known all over Eldu. Among them was a renowned, the renowned Aster, a kid about your age back then, uh, who was considered an excellent and particularly bright assistant. Uh, in short, your father was doing his real dream job alongside his friends and with a splendid family. But then the unthinkable. What you're wearing in your ear is uh, the Earth Core, isn't it? Therefore, I shall say you are aware of the recent attacks by X Pokemon. Uh, they have become commonplace nowadays, but their discovery is not a recent thing. Your father and Victor discovered them. Creatures from mysterious universes. The human's mind could finally go further. Uh, Verso believed that these specimen had to be bred as normal Pokemon. But Victor had complete opposite ideals. Since then, their parties diverged and their passion burning in the lab um, burning in the laboratory 
wound down? Uh, invested in ideas, Victor uh, resigned and promised he would find um, a solution to the problem. Uh, using the funds acquired in his studies, he set up a personal organization uh, with the sole purpose of sealing the ex-Pokemon forever. Uh, as you might have guessed, Victor is the brains behind Team Dimension. Kid, it's very probable that he wants uh, that he was the one who made your father Versal disappear so that he could have no opponents. But unfortunately for him, his love has been uh, inherited by the new generation led by Aster. Uh, trust me, Team Dimension couldn't have made a worse enemy. Now I've got to ask you to come with me, Kelly. I've got something to show you. Here, kid, follow me. Okay, I'm gonna, I guess I'll follow you. Interesting shit, interesting shit. I mean, I don't know, I guess that makes, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, Pokemon story. It's, it, you know, it works. Is, is he up here? He is up here, holy shit. I'm a genius. Hello. Heading for the Zenith Cave, uh, one of the four Xenogates in the region. Uh, the access is permitted only to those who've achieved uh, Luxflon's blessing. But let's not argue somatics, I'll explain everything later. Uh, the plan of Team Dimension is merely uh, the first domino. The whole planet is in extreme danger. Um, but to fully comprehend these words of mine, it is necessary for you to learn about this ancient legend. Oh. Billions of years ago, the universe was ruled by a majestic power for Pokemon vac vacuum vacuum va vacuum. Uh, its size is comparable to the planet. Uh, its body bursting like a star. Uh, just like every creature, vacuum uh, was torn deep down diametrically opposed into uh, diametrically imposed intentions the light symbol of peace and evolution and darkness bearer of terror and annihilation despite its uh, tremendous power uh, the primeval creature was still subject to the arrow of time and therefore doomed to age and became weaker and weaker uh, the dark energy within the creature willing to leave that dying shell started rebelling with the purpose of establishing its own separate and in, uh, identity <laughs> and thus the darkness bust out of the prison causing the death of the Pokemon itself. A large-scale um, deflagration, deflagration <laughs> was triggered and, and unleashed uh, life throughout uh, our universe. Galaxies, stars, and planets were generated. Uh, the Earth formed, uh, ruled but half by light being Luxflon, Luxflon uh, who incarnated following the explosion, and half by the Dark Lord Dragalisk. Dragalisk. To maintain the balance between them, there were three elemental guardians, um, parts of Vacuum 2. The star Pokemon, Shyleon, Trishout, and Shu, Shu, Shu Long. So called because they were uh, forerunners of life. Uh, but Dracolisk, Dracolisk uh, was convinced that life wasn't necessary and banished them from its territory. Therefore, they found refuge in Lux Flon's domain. Thanks to them, uh, the hemisphere under the rule of uh, the light being grew prosperous and florid. On the other hand, uh, the one under the Dark Lords rotted and remained at a primal and hospitable stage. What am I looking at? Is that Agumon? <laughs> Whereupon the latter, envious of its brother's work, decided to make its move. Uh, it wanted to steal some energy uh, Luxflon used to make Earth flourish so rapidly. Thanks to the invention of both uh, both Luxflon and the Star Pokemon, the attack turned into a defeat. However, Dragalisk was able to take over a tiny amount of energy. It used to create soldiers under its will, the X Pokemon. Along with the, its new army, the Dark One attempted another stampede, but it failed again. Then, according to legend, the Bright One, horrored by the greed for power, broke into its energy reserved to turn away um, definitively its evil twin. Um, its doings, in doing so, Dragalisk was confined in another dimension, the Xenoverse. Under the domain of light, the Earth attained its fullest development. However, the Dark Lord never got over the defeat and tried several more times uh, over the millennia to wreak havoc in uh, its original planet by tearing fault lines in uh, space-time. Uh, but if Team Dimension were to break into the Xenoverse, darkness would fall on our lives. Uh, the rift already located all over the region would give Dragalisk a chance of revenge. Uh, it could finally be able to take over everything that Luxflon has developed until now. But there is a way to avert this threat. The star Pokemon that you are um, are the harmony that keeps this world alive and you, Kali, be are one of them. You are expected to, uh, you're the expected one whose duty to prevent its destruction, the region, no earth needs you. Yeah, it's a pretty cool story. Um, you are still missing something though uh, to do this though. Uh, I took you here to ensure you obtain power that goes far beyond the one you currently possess. Talking about the Xenoversal evolution. Thanks to that, you will be able to unlock the full potential of your Pokemon. In order to give you this power, however, uh, you have to cross the limits of man. Kali, you see that enormous cascade there? That's not water flowing, that's terrestrial energy. It's Luxlon itself trying to patch the rifts between the world and the other. 
Uh, only those who possess the earth core can walk through the Xeno gate behind it. But to do that, you must be filled with a certain amount of grudge. That's why I don't know what you're what you're going to face in there or even give you any help. Remember though, without good, there is no evil and vice versa. Um, this is the key to harness blue energy. Uh, enough with the lollygagging now, it's time to act. Come what may, always trust your ability and your Pokemons. Delve in there and come back victorious with an incredible new power. Oh, be, oh light being, to you is my partner. Grant your Apostle the chance to face this trial. Apostle. Okay, now go, Kelly. Oh God, oh God damn, oh God damn. We're we're going to the Xenoverse, the the title of the game, where the energy spreads through the cascade. Xenogate sucks you towards it. And now we're in the Xenoverse. You know what? I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we're gonna check out what's going on in the Xenoverse here, I suppose. Damn, I didn't expect to be here this early. Holy shit. Appreciate you guys as always. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.